all right gamers we're back with another atari vcs video uh today i have some new supplies in we got a corsair k55 uh keyboard and a mouse combo uh these two were together so this is hooked up to the atari vcs and we are already booted up into pc mode right here so i wanted to show you some new things today uh that we have not looked at uh, since our last uh, dip into PC mode. The last time on PC mode, we, we tried to play Spelunky 2. Um, and this is installed to the SSD on the Atari VCS. This is as far as I've been able to get uh, with this game. And this is an indie title. This is not a very uh, high performance uh, game here. Uh, I have this on PS4, PS5, Steam. Yeah, so it's crashed. Automatically uh, closes the game uh, before it gets any further. Um, I did try uh, launching Max Payne 3 in a streaming mode, uh, essentially streaming it through Steam uh, from my gaming PC. I'm going to go ahead and try to stop it. It looks like it's really frozen. Everything this time. Um... But yeah, I tried to essentially stream Max Payne through my PC, uh, which appeared to work fine, but the only problem was it was going from my vertical monitor, uh, and I was unable to, even with all the tricks of, like, put it in windowed mode, drag it over to one of your other monitors, then stretch it out to 1080p, I was unable to get the game to do so. So, like, without a lot of tinkering, uh, I haven't really been able to play very many of my games here on Steam. So yeah, it looks like we're a little <laughs> looks like we're a little messed up right here. It looks like the game is closed. Um but yeah, now it looks like Steam is is totally out of it. So I guess I guess we'll go ahead and take Steam. Uh but last time we were able to play a little bit of the Messenger um Can't do anything. I, I think the big weakness is that this thing has such a small amount of memory, it, it can't do very much. 8 gigs is not passable. Even, even 10 years ago, I feel like 8 gigs is like really lacking uh, to play most games. So I, I don't know why they went with 8 gigs. I mean, I, I get that... There's the option to upgrade, and I certainly would love to. Um, but I'm worried, you know, will that be enough? So we got some cool stuff here. Um, I would like to try Hades. That, that would be interesting. I don't believe I own Hades on Steam, uh, but we could try that sometime. Um, yeah, we were able to play uh, Streets of Rage 4. I believe it crashed once, and we were also able to play The Messenger. We were not able to play Spelunky 2, however. Um, and I did try uh, launching Marvel's Avengers by streaming it from my gaming PC. All I got was a white screen, so that was unable to happen. But I did say that I have exciting news, and I do. Um, Silent Hill 2, I have the PC version here, and uh, you know, apparently some files uh, did not transfer over, but apparently that has not affected the gameplay. Um, this is the original version. This is literally the PC version. This is not an emulation. Uh, this is the PC version of Silent Hill 2, uh, which I pretty much downloaded to a flash drive to get it here on the, uh, PC. On, on our Atari VCS PC mode. Um, this is the Enhanced Edition, which is sort of a fan-made mod, uh, that has up the resolution made modern enhancements uh, to allow you uh, to play the game in, in modern resolutions, modern controllers, modern sound systems. Uh, they've also put in lots of HD textures and such. So let's let's jump in for a minute just to show proof of concept here. I was doing a, an easy mode run through just so I could kind of gawk at all the textures and such. Um, and I am playing with the Atari VCS um, modern controller here, uh, which is very similar to an Xbox controller. We've talked about this in the past. 
Um, but yeah, the game plays as you would expect. We'll walk around Silent Hill for a little bit just to get a feel for things. I'll turn up the sound a little bit here. Uh, yeah, let's go walk around the town. So if we uh, if we look at uh, over here to options, I'll show you guys what's going on here. If we look at our advanced settings. Okay, noise is is just kind of a fuzzy effect that they add, where it makes it look kind of grainy. So I turned that off because it really makes everything look clean. Uh, we've got the high res textures, 1920 by 1080. Shadows on, fog complex, uh, lens flare, advanced filters, all that stuff. Um, everything looks and sounds great. So this is how it would run on, on my gaming PC, um, which has a uh, 1070 uh, GPU from uh, NVIDIA. Let's pull up the map. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we could go down Cat Street. Street here. So yeah, it uh, seems to be rendering the fog pretty well. Hopping <laughs> on those monsters. James painting a little bit. But yeah, this is a, you know, kind of a semi-open world horror game here. And this was a PS2 title uh, that was ported to PC, and this uh, fan-made mod has really made some really good enhancements to the game, taking the best features of all versions of the game, taking the highest resolution uh, cutscenes and uh, you know, textures and whatnot that are available. And the fans have, have really made this the ideal version of Silent Hill 2 to play, which is a really good thing. So yeah, this seems to work really well, and I, I haven't had any issues playing this on the VCS. So I guess, you know, one of the things I said last time about the Atari VCS, um, with respect to this uh, PC mode, is, is know what you're getting into here. Um, you know, looking at the specs of the hardware. Uh, kind of look at that and know what, what you're going to be able to play. Now, in theory, I should be able to play Spelunky too, but it's completely unplayable. Um, I will do some future tests on streaming when I have the VCS in another room. And that way I can stream off the main monitor. Maybe I won't have this issue of it always wanting to... Uh, launch games on my second monitor and not my third. You know, I, I have two monitors that are 1080p and then this one here is set vertical uh, to read chat on stream. And for some reason, I, I just cannot get it to get off that ratio uh, with all the little tricks that I know to do. So uh, this is really just more of a commentary on, you know, where we're at with PC mode right now. Um, it's uh, temperamental, and it's something you kind of have to tinker around with, and there's certainly uh, some games here that we could definitely dabble with, and, and there's even more in, in my library here. So if we get the streaming thing down, uh, then, you know, we might be open to play more games and, and potentially to play games that might be um, outside of the... Uh, hardware capacity here. You know, I could potentially be running more sophisticated games on my gaming PC and then streaming them to the VCS in another room and, and being able to get that experience there. So that could be fun uh, if that worked. So I'll do some more testing on that and I'll report back soon. Uh, but today I just kind of wanted to follow up some more. So last time my thoughts were uh, that I felt like the Atari VCS, uh, that I essentially paid $400 for the equivalent, uh, Atari's equivalent of a NES Classic or a SNES Classic or, you know, the Genesis Mini uh, that came out in recent years, where these were consoles that packed in like 20 or 30 games or so, and, you know, it was a tiny, cute little console, plugs in with HDMI, 
and th while those are like 40 to 70 bucks or something i spent 400 dollars on this and and there's you know allegedly as i said not a lot to show for it now do i feel that way now not necessarily I feel like that was kind of a hot take, and I, I still agree with that opinion uh, with some respect until I really figure out, you know, the, this is very early on. The backers are, are the ones that have received the consoles now, so we're, we're the ones uh, testing all this stuff and, and seeing how it runs. So we kind of have to figure out what worked uh, with the VCS. So if there's any games uh, that you would like me to try, if you have any opinions of any types of games or software you'd like to see me run on the VCS, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Any other suggestions, definitely like and subscribe to the video. And I'll have some more content about the Atari VCS coming to you soon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.